Okay, so the handbrake is done ripping the video from the DVD into the computer. And we got that confirmation message, so then we can close handbrake. And we go to where that was stored, which is on Movies, Swells Connection, and there it is. There's the April one. And if we open it up, we can see it. And there it goes. Yep. So it's all there. So now we can put it into Pro Presenter. So we open up Pro Presenter 3. And, you know, and it's important that you do the ripping with Pro Presenter turned off because Pro Presenter has a DVD player embedded in it and it will try to play the DVD while you're trying to rip it and it just messes things up. So we go to Media and we're going to add a video presentation. So we just navigate to that video that we just made. Wells Connection April, that's the one we just did today, yep, and we choose it. And so there it is. So now it's in Pro Presenter. When I want to put it in um, as part of a service, um, I usually then add a slide in front and behind. So I added two slides right away. So I'm going to um, hold the Command key down, makes the slide turn blue, drag it over to in front of it, and then let go. So that way I have two blank ones in front of it. So when I drag this, video presentation down into the playlist that when the operator is going down the playlist and it clicks this one that it doesn't start the video right away until they're ready and when they're ready it'll click the video and it automatically starts playing and then when the video is done you can click to the to the next slide so that the video stops playing and, and fades away um, sometimes I will set the background um, to e erase it so that there's nothing there or you can set the background to whatever the current picture is for the theme of the weekend. So that concludes how to get a DVD video into ProPresenter 3.